So I first got acquainted with AOTF as, a, as an occupational therapy student at the University of North Dakota. Um, I was a member of my Pi Theta Epsilon chapter, and then I ended up, at the end of my time at North Dakota, um, being encouraged to run for the national um, vice president position. Um, so right after I graduated from OT school, that would have been in 2010, I ended up um, serving on the national PTE board um, for about five years. PTE is a program of the OT Foundation. And as part of my role on the board for a couple of the years, I um, was able to interact with and learn from and, and I had a seat on the AOTF Board of Trustees, which was a really unique position um, and looking back a really privileged position to be in as a relatively new um, occupational therapy um, clinician. And that was actually where I was really introduced to this idea that I could have a career in research. Um, I remember sitting at one of the um, board meetings and hearing about some of the shortages of uh, researchers in the field and the opportunities that we had. Um, and I was able to interact with, um, with researchers, with people who had those roles. And they helped me connect with um, Dr. Elizabeth Skidmore at the University of Pittsburgh, which is where I went on to, um, to uh, complete my, my doctoral research training. Um, so AOTF has not only supported my um, my current research, my current funding, um, but it also is a really big reason why I'm an occupational therapy researcher. So if you're a student, a young practitioner, um, a mid-career practitioner, um, or a scientist, or a researcher, um, I would really encourage you to check out AOTF. They have a lot of um, programs that support um, people getting involved in research. Um, as occupational therapists and um, opportunities to learn more about what it looks like to, um, to be a researcher, to be a scientist, but also to support science and to implement evidence in practice.